So I believe there's eight phases to the employee journey. They all start with the letter A, and that's by design, with the idea being that if you get all eight phases of the employee journey right, it's like getting straight A's on your report card from your team members, right? They're saying, I love every piece of this. This is working beautifully. So what I'll give you is maybe a 35,000 foot view, TJ, and then we can dive deep into whichever ones seem most interesting to you or the listeners. So the first phase is the assess phase. This is when a prospective employee is trying to decide whether or not they want to come work for you. So they're looking at your job listings, your position advertisements. They might be on the careers page or the about us page on your website. They're submitting their resume or their application to enter your hiring process. They're going through interviews and background checks, leading all the way up to a decision about whether or not this is the candidate you want. That takes us to phase two, the accept phase. The accept phase has two component parts. The first one, the employer decides this is the candidate we want to extend an offer to. If everything goes well, that candidate accepts our offer. They transition from being a prospective employee to being a new hire. We then go to phase three, the affirm phase. Now, I'd be willing to bet that everybody listening in is familiar with the concept of buyer's remorse the scientifically proven experience that customers have when they make a purchase and they immediately begin to doubt the purchase they just made. Allow me to introduce folks to potentially a new phrase, new hire's remorse. It is the same scientifically proven experience of a new hire accepting a job offer and then beginning to doubt the decision they just made. And I will tell you, for most employers, they haven't even heard of new buyer's remorse or new hire's remorse, rather, let alone are they doing things to address and remedy the new hire's remorse that scientifically every new hire is going to feel. We then come to phase four, the activate phase. Phase four, the activate phase occurs on the first day on the job. This is the first day an employee shows up for work. It's the only phase in the eight phases that is one day long. What are you doing during that day to, in the immortal words of country music legend Bonnie Raitt, give them something to talk about? What are you doing to make that first day on the job so energetic, so remarkable, that when they go home that night to their significant other, their children, their parents, their roommate, they feel that they've started the next chapter of their life and they're excited about what the future holds? We then come to phase five, the acclimate phase. This starts on day two on the job and lasts for weeks, maybe even months, as your new employee gets up to speed with your way of doing business. They're learning what I like to call the four R's. What is their role? What are their responsibilities? What are the requirements of the job? And what are the relationships that they're going to have to manage in this new position? What are we doing to hold their hand as they acclimate to our way of doing business? We then come to phase six, the accomplish phase. This is when the employee achieves the goal they had when they originally decided to come work for you. Now, every new employee has a vision of what they're hoping to achieve. And pro tip for everyone listening out there, it's not a paycheck every two weeks. Okay, that's something they want. It's something they need. It's an important piece of the conversation, but they want more responsibility, a better title, new skill sets, new opportunities, new possibilities. What are we doing to track their goals and how they're moving towards those and then accomplishing those goals? And what are we doing to celebrate with them when they achieve that goal? Mm. We then come to phase seven, the adopt phase. This is when an employee becomes loyal to you and only you. They're not going to answer that inbound inquiry from a recruiter or a headhunter. They are committed to your organization. And if, and only if we've successfully navigated them through the first seven phases, do we have the right to welcome them in, the opportunity to welcome them in to the final phase, the advocate phase, where they become a raving fan, singing our praises far and wide, writing reviews on online sites like Glassdoor. And anytime we have a new position opening in our organization, they're actively recruiting their friends, their colleagues, the smartest people they know to come work with the organization because they are so bought into our mission, our vision, what we're trying to accomplish, that they only want the best and brightest to work with them. Those are the eight phases. And what we're doing in each of those phases contributes to whether an employee is interested in being engaged and retained long-term. So simple. So simple, yet hugely filled with opportunity for improvements and enhancements.